Today, I'm going to use a dig attack feature I have never used before that people have mentioned to me a few times, and I genuinely have never done this until now. We're going to use the randomize feature today, which is an extremely powerful tool because you can completely randomize all of the values on any of these parameter pages. I do not think you can use it with the trig page, but somebody correct me if I am wrong there. We're going to take a couple of patterns from an old tune that I have, and we're going to mess around with them. So let's just listen to the two patterns before we jump into the fun. Right, so a pretty simple little progression. And we're gonna start playing around on this first pattern here. This is from a song that I made uh, quite a while back, actually, maybe a year and a half ago. And I'd love to revisit it and, and play around with some of the mixing, but for now, we're just gonna go to town. So all you have to do in order to implement this is to hold the, the page button that you want to affect and hit the yes button. And as you can see, all of the values change. Another cool thing that I learned that I had no idea about is that if you hold the parameter page button, it shows you all the values. And this is really useful if you're going back and forth between patterns and you want to match up a parameter and you forget what value it is and you don't want to have to, you know, slightly tweak the knob and hope that you don't nudge it out of place because it's very easy to do that on the dig attack. So to give some structure to this uh, potentially insane process, what I think I'm going to do is just start with one component. And let's start with the little melody that's in this pattern. And we can play around with the amp page first. Again, hold the page button and then hit yes. And it randomizes all of these values. Except, brilliantly, except for important things like the volume. Because that would just be disastrous and just not useful at all. So it's really cool that Electron has kind of given this some thought in terms of what's actually affected for the values randomized. Let's play around with the LFO page. Things can get a little weirder here. This is pretty tame still. Oh, and you can randomize both LFOs. So here we're basically just modulating the LFO with the LFO, and the LFO being modulated is the bit rate. So I think this is kind of a cool rhythmic sound. This gives it a little bit of a different vibe, a lot brighter and bouncier. What do we want to mess with next? Let's take this main chord sample. I'll leave this melody playing in the background. Actually, you know what, let's mute it first. This could be weird. The source page has a lot of really sort of key parameters, like the play direction and the actual start and length of the, the sample that we're playing with. Oh, sorry about that. totally changes the vibe of the song, if I do say so myself. I cut out some of the audio there because it got pretty hairy with the bit rate. I urge you to be very careful with this if you're messing around with headphones. Case in point. What's interesting is that it changes the sample. So you're gonna get some totally different weird things going on. Some things that don't always make sense. But 
That's kind of nice, right? Now let's go change some of the other components of this. Turn it up. See, this is pretty similar to that first sample we started with. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? You can really just endlessly mess around with this kind of stuff. Let's mute our melodic components for a brief while and mess around with some percussive stuff. Here we're just playing around with our hi-hat, which isn't really much of a hi-hat anymore. Kind of matches the weird vibe of this thing that we did. Let's play with the snare. <laughs> so this is coming from here. where we ended up. Which is just like complete madness, to be honest. By the way, if you're new here, my name's Daniel. Super nice to meet you. If you're interested in supporting the channel at all, I would urge you to head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash slow haste. You can check out some different tiers with perks and rewards over there. I also offer lessons on some devices. Check it out. And if you want to hit me up just to chat, Instagram is the best place to do so. Let's bring in our bass synth, which I tried messing around with. I didn't really like where I landed. <laughs> this is so absurd. All right, that's a little more reasonable. What about the kick? You can play with the amplitude here. So I have another thing that I want to mess around with because this is a little bit wild, right? So let's take this pattern and use the control all. To shape it into something a little bit intentionally stranger. So, now that we have this kind of sonic chaos that we've grouped together by adjusting the filter to create a, a notch and kind of putting it to the same bit rate and panning it a little bit, we have like this interesting thing that we can do and implement it as like a transition. because it's more cohesive now. And then when we bounce to the next pattern, that transition is a little more impactful than if we just went directly from that first pattern to the second pattern. Kind of an interesting method you can use if you're wanting to spice up a transition a little bit or just sonically experiment. Let's take this second pattern and we're gonna go in blind. I'm just gonna sort of mash some buttons here on some random 
tracks. I might speed through this. And this could sound absolutely disastrous. It probably will. But humor me and let's see what happened. Honestly, not that bad. Again, control all. false starts with these transitions like I just did, which can be super fun. Here's another pattern that I use that's kind of just like a, a mild muted version of that first one. So now we have three variants of the first pattern. We have this, we have this, which I created before, and we have this. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to just kind of fiddle around and literally mash buttons to randomize your parameters. If nothing else, it just gives you new ideas and can take things in a direction you didn't expect them to go. And perhaps you can finish a remix of the song you're working on before you even finish the song you're actually working on. That's all for today's video, just a super fun idea that a few people have mentioned to me and I've never tried out until sitting down in front of the camera today. So hope you had fun with it, I certainly did. And let me know what other fun lesser known dig attack tricks you think I should try out. I know that there really are endless things you can do with this box. And I honestly haven't been playing anything else the past couple of weeks since I set this up for my video last week, which you should go check out, by the way. Anyways, thanks y'all for joining as always. I hope you have a nice day, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.